Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about capacity. We will be looking at the four primary units of customary measurement for measuring capacity. That includes the cup, the pint, the quart, and the gallon. Believe it or not, you come in contact with these four forms of capacity measurement more often than you may realize. Think about when you are baking cookies with your mom or when you take milk out of the refrigerator to pour yourself a glass of milk to drink. Or how about that, gal that Gatorade that you are going to try and drink? All of those require you using these forms of capacity measurement. Today we are going to start with the cup. Now as you can see, the cup can be broken down into smaller forms of measurement. However, we are not going to be focusing on those today. We are just going to be looking at the cup. Out of these four units, the cup is the smallest unit of measurement for capacity. What does that mean? It means that when you go to measure smaller quantities of something, you are going to use the cup to measure them. For example, when you bake cookies with mom, you're going to use the cup to measure the flour as opposed to the gallon. The next unit of measurement will be the pint. It actually takes two cups to fill up this pint. So two cups is equal to one pint. The next unit is the quart. The quart would actually take two pints to fill. Two pints is going to be equal to one quart. That also means that you could fill one quart with four cups. Four cups would also be equal to one quart. The largest unit of measurement that we're talking about today is the gallon. The gallon, as you can see, is considerably larger than the other three units that we are talking about today. It would take you 16 cups to fill this gallon. What does that mean to you? Well, let's think about this as a gallon of lemonade. Let's say you had 16 friends over and you wanted to share your gallon of lemonade with them. They would each receive one cup of lemonade to drink, which would be quite refreshing. You can also fill this one gallon with eight pints. So if you had eight friends over playing and you wanted to share your one gallon of lemonade with your eight friends, they would each receive one pint of lemonade to drink. You may also fill the gallon with quarts. It would take four quarts to fill this one gallon jug. What does that mean? It means that if you were to have four friends over and you guys were playing outside in the hot sun all day and you were really, really thirsty, you could come in and share that gallon of lemonade with your four friends and your four friends would each receive one quart of lemonade to drink. So once again today we talked about capacity and what the four primary customary units of measurement are for capacity. They include the cup, the pint, the quart, and the gallon. We are going to have a quick recap of capacity. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on capacity. Now your job today is to go around your house and see what you can find that would be equal to a cup or a pint or a quart or a gallon. This has been a review of the four primary customary units of measurement for capacity. 
Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.